Hey Bayside, it's Andrew here. And right now I'm getting ready for our weekend services. And we got all these camera guys around and girls and they're amazing because they're constantly getting me in focus. I gotta wait my time. I always wanna get out of the gates and jump in. But they are getting me in focus. They're getting perspective. I wanna read a passage to you that I love so much because it helps me get perspective. And it's from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. Look at these words. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles, and they weren't, they were difficult, are achieving for us an eternal glory. Here's perspective that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is on scene, since what is seen is temporary, but what is on scene is eternal. Those words are pretty incredible. And they help us get perspective. Perspective here on earth through the muddiness of trouble and pressure in our lives to an eternal hope that actually the stuff we're going through is producing something in us that normally wouldn't just happen through easy circumstances. One of the guys that I love, a great pastor here in America, his name is Andy Stanley. And he recently wrote this. And I think you're going to find this helpful as you try to get focus in your life, as you try to get perspective. He says, sometimes I just want it to stop. Talk of COVID, looting, brutality. I lose my way. I become convinced that this new normal is real life. Then I meet an 87 year old who talks of living through polio, diphtheria, Vietnam protests, and yet is still enchanted with life. He seemed surprised when I said that 2020 must be especially challenging for him. No, he said slowly, looking me straight in the eyes. I learned a long time ago to not see the world through the printed headlines. I see the world through the people that surround me. I see the world with the realization that we love big. Therefore, I choose to write my own headlines. Husband loves wife today. Family drops everything to come to grandma's bedside. He patted my hand. Old man makes new friend. His words collide with my worries, freeing them from the tether I had been holding tight. They float away. I am left with renewed spirit and a new way to write my own headlines. 